my name is Gary Perez, and um, I'm here with uh, our Comanche relatives uh, studying the rock art here, Paint Rock, Texas, and we're comparing notes about what our ancestors left behind, you know, even 2,000 years ago here in this location. And uh, I've chose this particular site here because once a year, at about solar noon at 1237, a solar dart will appear to the left of the of center of this of this character, and then stop here in the middle, and then go away this way. Well, that has a lot to do with our understanding as how the sun rose in the morning and killed the morning star. Um, and if you've ever seen Venus rise in the morning and the sun behind it, you'll see that over time, as the sun gets brighter and brighter, Venus's light gets washed away little by little, and until it finally disappears. Well, <clears throat> what's happening here is that the, the actual sunrise, the very first sunrise, according to our creation story, that sunrise took place in San Angelo, Texas, between the Buttes. Uh, there in San Angelo, Twin Buttes, off of Highway 67. And once a year, uh, if you're standing behind your, the Buttes at winter solstice and you're looking east, that sun will rise in the east between the Buttes and then travel from east to west across the skies. Well, at 12.37 on that same day, exactly five hours later, that solar dart will appear and pierce the center of what we call the deer heart the, 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 and, then, and then fade away. And that is, we address that also in another way. You, you have the terrestrial event, you have the celestial event, and then the third way that it's addressed is in our ceremonies. We actually pile up our fireplace and we sing really hard to that to that sun, that cold sun, the winter solstice, you know. It sits there for three days and we worry that it's not ever going to rise again. So we heat up that sun, that cold sun, it's just enough, just strong enough to kill that morning star, you know, the deer, strike it in the heart, and uh, which we consider a, a sacrifice for our people. And so uh, we, we sing to that moment and it's it's so amazing that we can we can watch the sunrise in San Angelo uh, that morning at 7.37 and then travel, you know, have stop over in San Angelo, get a cup of coffee and a couple of tacos and drive over here and see this solar dart in this direction, this way, uh, uh, later that afternoon. Interestingly enough, those events are were captured in a 2,000-year-old painting called the White Shaman uh, uh, Mural. And what you have in the white shaman is you have the sun rising in the east, and with and the, the sun has an atlatl in his right hand, but he's shooting a, a, a light over towards uh, the morning star or the deer caricature um, in the painting. So you've got your sun god, you've got an atlatl, and you've got a spear uh, killing the deer or the morning star. What's unique about that is that. The location in the rock art, the sun god is here, and the deer is here. Well, that that proximity also is how San Angelo and this location are related geographically. So you've got the sunrise at Twin Buttes and the solar dart at Paint Rock, exactly what they painted on the wall, the white shaman mural. 